So what's going on you guys? Um, if you can see here in front of me, there is a nice little package. My shock mounts came early. Uh, today is Tuesday. So that means I can go ahead and get a jump start on the, uh, the building process. I wanted to go ahead and talk about these shock mounts tonight. Uh, that way I don't have to do it in the morning. But basically I paid $30 for them and I got $30 worth of shock mounts. Um, obviously it came as a pair. Not the greatest quality. Um, there's quite a few imperfections with it and don't worry about the color. I am planning on repainting it and uh, kind of match the frame color and whatnot. But um, I'll have to take most of the paint off so that way I can get a good weld on it. Again, $30 worth of shock mounts. But anyways, this is what they look like. And uh, we'll go ahead and I guess snap to me getting ready to put them on the truck. Hi guys, so it's Wednesday morning. Uh, my shock mounts were actually supposed to come in today, but they came in yesterday, obviously, if you've seen the clip. You can probably hear it outside right now, but uh, the wrap rod is out and warming up, as you can see, um, or here. Uh, I also wanted to make a quick announcement, and that is November 20th, 8 p.m. It's a Tuesday, we're gonna go live again. And it doesn't have to be a QA. and a If you guys have questions for me, by all means, bring them to the party. Um, otherwise, it's pretty much just going to be a hangout. So uh, we look forward to that. Um, also, I'm actually going to shut the rat rod off here in a second. And I'm going to take my other truck, that one, uh, and go drive down to the shop and see if there's room for me to get in the shop. Um, I didn't even think about looking. Probably should have. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive down there. Make sure one... And also like going into our shop is a hill and when it gets wet it's like really muddy and whatnot and obviously i don't want to get stuck down there at the shop so uh i'm gonna drive down there in my truck first and see what uh what the deal is so sorry it's so dark in here but um i uh, don't worry about that rattling that's actually my rocker panels that are rattling uh, i'm just gonna drive down there with this and i'll stop before i go down the hill and before I end up in a big old mud hole. And as you guys can probably tell, it, it's been like this for about three days now. It's just been a constant, steady stream of rain. And uh, it's really messing up plans and whatnot. So I'm hoping it's going to stop today, but there's no telling. Okay, so we're in the shop now. A little tight fit, uh, sort of. But we're mostly in. So I'll get this dried off and go ahead and disconnect the battery and go ahead and start taking off these shock mounts. Okay, so we're trying something a little different. It's actually easier for me to kind of talk over what I was doing as I'm watching it here to explain to you guys what was going on. Just worked a little faster that way, but basically here I'm just taking off the bottom part of the shock there we go and there she is her shock removed and here i'm pretty much just uh, modifying the little inner tube where the uh, bolt sits to uh, get it in between the two flanges on the shock mount because they were actually too close together so i kind of had to shave it down a little bit to get it to fit inside of the shock mount And then here I'm pretty much uh, just kind of shaving down the insides just a hair to give it a little bit more clearance for the shock, a little bit of wiggle room in it. Um, it actually fit at this point, but uh, I still want just a little bit of wiggle room in it. So all I did was just kind of take off a little bit on the insides here. And then this is me pretty much just showing it off, showing where I was grinding and whatnot. So, yeah. Uh, all right guys, so um, it's actually been a while since I last filmed, and that is because we found out that my shock mounts actually don't work, because if we flip it around here, um, it's, it's hitting on the shock, and it's not going to fit on the frame. So uh, I've been uh, trying to figure out something that will work. So I think I have a plan. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna mount, I'll show you, because this one's already in that spot. But I'm going to mount the shock mount just like this. I actually flip it upside down. I'm going to cut these ears off here, re-weld them, 
to where they're going, they're going to be on this little plane right here. And then I'm going to use a piece of round tubing to get it up off the frame. And, uh, try to compress the shock a little bit more than it already was. So uh, we'll see how that goes. So all I'm doing right here is just marking out where I'm going to cut the, uh, the little ears on the uh, mounts off. Um, and then on both sides, I'm pretty much just going to use a cutoff wheel because that was the easiest thing to use at the time. And then I just stick it in our little welding vise here because dad was working on the other side of the shop. So this was the only clamp I had access to. So just get it nice and secure. Give it a good old finger test here and go down. Now what you see here is just me taking the uh, shock mount and just getting all of that paint off of uh, the mount so that way I can get a good weld and get a good ground. Uh, the stuff was on there pretty thick, but uh, he did that basically just to keep it from rusting over time. So uh, we just need to get it off there for the weld. Pretty much all I'm doing right here is just kind of beveling the edges where I was going to weld so that way I could get a good weld and then come back later and then sand over top of it and just finish it up, make it look real nice, make it look like it was cut that way versus a big old glob of weld on it. And then right here I show off my beveling job. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but basically what I did was just turn the exposure way down in editing so you guys can see a little bit more of me welding this uh, piece together with the shock mount. Now those are the tails I cut off earlier, and basically all I'm doing now is just going back in and welding in that little um, dip that I made earlier. And this is me cleaning it off. My welds still need work. I know you don't have to tell me in the comments. But uh, uh, I felt like it came out pretty good. It was pretty strong. And plus, this little piece right here isn't structural, so I wasn't too worried about it. And all this little clip is here is just me doing the other side of the shock mount. And here's me just coming back and kind of cleaning up the weld a little bit, trying to kind of flatten it out a little bit so that way it looks like one piece instead of two. And then right here, this is me just cutting the tubing at uh, an angle so that way the other side was the exact same angle and these pieces are basically to lift the actual shock mount up to clear the frame. Then just coming in here and welding those pieces of tubing to the actual shock mount. And uh, let me tell you how hard it was to get the angle or to get the weld on the underside of that tubing. Holy hell. So right here all I'm doing is just clearing off some of the old paint that was on the chassis and using a wire brush to kind of get all that old paint off there and get down to bare metal so that way I can get a really good weld because again this is part of your suspension and I don't want anything to happen with this going down the road. So that's why there's paint removal. I hate to tear up the pinstriping but it had to be done. So what I didn't film earlier was uh, the mistake I made um, during mock-up. I guess I had the shock mount at a slight angle and uh, the shock fit in that position, but when I welded it on here this time, it actually didn't fit. So I had to do some 
grinding and whatnot to kind of get the shock to fit right but it all worked out in the end and also i want to mention i did not film the other side because at this point i was already super tired and ready to be done with this um, it had taken me pretty much all day to get this right especially with all the modifications i had to make to this shock mount to get it to where i liked it and uh you know, I could kind of work with it later on as far as decoration goes. But uh, here, I think I went and grabbed the shock, and I should be, yep, installing it down into the straight axle. And it just took a little bit of finagling to uh, get it to fit the rest of the way in. And I do plan on using different hardware, which you will see later on in the video. But uh, yep, yeah, it works, it looks good, I liked it and it kind of gives me options as far as decoration goes. Okay guys, so I got the shocks mounted back up. I'm trying to hurry up because my camera is dying. We still have to paint it, but I'm gonna go ahead and head up to the house and uh, get under my roof before uh, I paint these because it's still raining as it is right now. Okay guys, so we are back in my house now. It is still coming down and raining. I don't know where you guys are at, but hopefully it's sunnier than where I'm at. Uh, and as you can see, the rat rod is now covered in muddy water. Um, looks like I went on an off-roading adventure, um, but I guess that's just part of living on a uh, dirt road. It's kind of like a gravel and dirt mix, but anyways. Uh, so yeah, I want to show you guys the shock mounts. Um, they're pretty much in now. Now I am planning on doing more decoration to these. Um, I also have to paint these as well. Uh, so that way they won't start rusting and I'm not sure how I'm going to decorate them but I'm, I'm actually really happy with it um, I think it's a pretty good touch kind of complements the rest of the rat rods first time I ever made shock mounts um, in all honesty and I'm pretty happy with the way they came out I wasn't too happy I had to do all the modification but uh, you know it, it worked out and I, I want to do something to kind of cover up this tubing here um, I don't want that to be super obvious so maybe we'll do something like around in here and on the back side here i don't know i'll uh, just take some thinking so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get these things painted i'm not worried about the bolt or the shock getting paint on them because i am going to replace the bolts i'm going to go with uh, a grade eight bolt which i believe this is a grade eight no this isn't a grade eight bolt uh, but i am going to go to grade eight bolts and i'm also going to repaint the shocks but i may do it like a silver or aluminum color that way they pop out a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and get two spray painting. So real quick before you guys see the next clip, um, I just woke up, which is why there's a groggy voice. Um, I, I had painted my shock mounts black and I thought I was just gonna leave them at that. But after looking at it, I really wasn't happy with it. So uh, what I'm doing today is me and Kat went to Lowe's last night and I guess I could show you. Uh, stand by for one minute but uh we decided that well i decided that i'm going to paint my shock mounts red and it's like a darker red if you can tell kind of like my shirt but um we're going to try to make them stand out a little bit more and also i went ahead and got some metallic paint for the shocks because the shocks are in pretty bad shape uh so today i've got to get the shocks back off of the truck hang them up get the uh, shocks like sanded and painted which i'm going to do here i'm not going back down to the shop mainly because it is still freaking raining um it's been raining for four days now but uh, i'm going to go ahead and finish up the shocks today um 
and uh, yeah. Uh, we also, I almost forgot, we got uh, the grade eight zinc bolts, which it may be hard to see all the color changes in it, but I really love that kind of hardware. And plus, I needed grade eight hardware on my suspension because I like overkill. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get started. Just wanted to show you guys, this is the kind of end on the shock mount that's uh, such a pain. It may be hard to see, but it's got a groove cut in it. It's not all the way around, and that's what's making this so difficult because I have to stick a set of locking pliers on there to keep the uh, the shaft on the shock to quit spinning while I'm taking the bolt off. I would much prefer the ones that I have on my race car, which has the little Allen head thing, and then you just hold that and undo the nut. But is what it is. That's the shocks that came with it. Um, I am going to sand this down a little bit, get some of the rust off, and then we're going to hang it up and paint it. So, uh, and obviously I'll put masking tape around all the stuff I don't want paint on. And uh, get her painted up and get it looking nice. So shocks are off. Um, I'm going to just kind of sand these over the sink. Um, I just need to get some rough patches off of them. Next step will be to tape around the shock mount. I'm also going to find a piece of cardboard laying around so that way I don't get overspray on my engine or anything like that. Um, I'm not going to film after I paint these and put them on the truck. I'll film them when I finish painting, obviously, but um, installing them, I'm not going to film solely because I need to get this video out because there is another video that I am working on currently and uh, I really need to get that done. But I'm hoping you guys are going to like the other video we're putting out. Probably not going to air until sometime next week. But I do need to get this shock mount video out because I said it would be out today. So I need to get it out today. I want to keep my promises with you guys when it comes to filming. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to find a piece of cardboard now. And actually, I think I just found a piece. So uh, we'll get that. And we'll get some sandpaper and get these uh, shocks pretty much squared away, ready to go. I'm going to tape off around the shaft so that way we don't get paint on there. And yeah, uh, I hope silver. So guys, I know it doesn't look great, um, especially if you can see them in detail, but I think it's just too freaking cold to paint. Um, paint's just pretty much running off of the shock mounts. It's not even sticking. So my game plan is to uh, wait another day to paint, but uh, I'll still get this video out to show you guys what I've been working on. I think this is really going to be a good addition and kind of help the uh, front end pop a little bit more. So. Uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys back around the heater. Alright guys, so I definitely wasn't expecting this. Um, I probably should have checked to see how cold it was going to be. Um, it's actually colder today than it was yesterday, so I probably could have got away with painting yesterday. But uh, I didn't have what I wanted. I ended up changing my mind, which no surprise there. Um, I'm looking at the temperature. It is currently like 36 degrees so yeah um we'll uh we'll back up and punt with the painting one day uh i just need to get it done before the uh christmas parade uh which i think we'll have a warm enough day where i can get in there and really get a good coat of paint down so uh, but i just want to show you guys kind of my process and what it's roughly going to look like so with that uh thank you guys so much for watching the video and as always we will see you in the next video and i will give an update on this in the next video or whichever one i end up doing so anyways thank you guys so much